ADX. Hey everybody, this is Zack, and welcome to Let's Play Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth. I will be doing the full trilogy of the GU series, and without further ado, let's start ourselves a new game. No, we're not gonna do that. Fancy cutscene time. Flashy cutscenes. How we love you. Loading internal city Makanau. Makanau? Makan. I, I can't. I can't read. The people talking, chatting, walking around. With some nice shots of the city. The city scape. Nah. Wow, this is cool. It's amazing. Hey. Hey, you. You, the adept rogue. I think they're talking to you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. I told you. Nobody listens to Zack. So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. No. Yeah. I just finished installing it to my PC. Oh. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. 
Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. I hope uh. we don't. All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. All right. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. Okay. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. Why isn't your mouth? All right. So let's open the menu. Press the triangle button to open it. Triangle button. You guys ready for this? I'm gonna press the triangle button. Here it goes. I guess like party. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. <gasps> That's quite a large list. Choose our names from this list and then press the X button. Fine. <laughs> I am on Fuck you directions. I'm gonna do it backwards. <laughs> Okay, let's have some fun. Oh, yeah! Okay, great. Now, your party is complete. Hooray! Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Please don't repeat yourselves. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Please! Head to the save shop before going out on an adventure. Take the sh talk to the shop clerk and choose save from the menu to save progress in the game. Okay. Save my game. Memory card slot one level. This one test file. La 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 la. Saving game. Okay, it's done. Goodbye, weird robot thing. After the preparations are complete, use the chaos gate to go on the adventure. Love adventures. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. I can see that. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Sweet. Choose warp menu. Okay. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. That makes sense. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the Chaos Gate. Okay. These words Determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. Okay. All right. Let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. Okay. <laughs> area word. This is where you input the words. All right. The thing at the top is the word plate. That's the word plate, guys. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. We combine three words in there and we go to an area to where we want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. The thing on the left of the screen has stocks of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. We can get more words from those things he just mentioned. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose courageous from your stock. I want, uh, uh, no. Uh. Okay, now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? Yes. That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. The triangle, so it must be in the hipster server, guys. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. Oh. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. Okay, I guess it's better than being in the hipster server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Okay. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. Alright. Alright! Then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. Yay! To courageous, engaging daydream. Hoorah! So, 
We've all been transported to a field. Sure looks that way. Open your map to take a look at the layout. I wanna. Go ahead and press the select button on the controller. No. I don't want to. Fine, I'll press select. This is the area map. Okay. That's the area map, guys. If you can't Use see it, it's run by check red. Current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. First, let's take a look at what our mission is. Go ahead and press the X button. X button. This is our mission. I don't. What? I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. It's surrounded in red. Missions are basically, um. Well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. Duh, really? It looks like this is a collection mission. I like to collect things. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. Okay, okay. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. That makes sense, I guess. But what are altars? The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or raping the shit out of them? Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. Well, if you're gonna put it that way, that works too, I guess. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Okay. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. Alright. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way. Thank God. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. <laughs> Use a transporter to return the town after completing this area's mission. Okay, this time let's really get going. <clears throat> if you're unsure where the Beast Temple or the altars are, just press the select button to check the map. Okay. Now you may think, oh boy, gameplay! No, more tutorials. I'm serious. This whole video is about tutorials, guys. I'm so sorry. If I could skip this, I would, but I can't. That's... Nice! We found an altar already. Hot damn! I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Perform a surprise attack by approaching the monsters around the altar without being seen and press the X button when the target cursor appears. Okay. Oops. Fuck that up. Oh, man. You're not too good at this, are you? I'm horrible! Well, now that they found us, let's do this thing. Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. <laughs> the battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. Okay. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Who needs to escape from a battle? I'm a Marion! Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Fight it out! <laughs> Basically, mash X. Hey, you're not too bad. Not so difficult, huh? Yes. Hold the X button down and release it when the gauge is full. Charge attacks are effective even against enemies that are guarding. Asta does this. Yeah, keep it up. They like flings other enemies and other enemies. It's hilarious. That's it. Just continue fighting like that. Okay. Regular attack is an X button. Combo attack is a tap the X button repeatedly. Charge attack is pull down the X button. Guard is circle. I never use guard! That's a lie. I use it all the time later on in the game, but not now. Stop it! Stop it! No! He flew all the way! So that's it! Yay, 3GP! We're fucking millionaires! Sometimes the treasure chests are on top of altars. Will con Sometimes the treasure chests on top of the altars will contain symbol fragments. You need to open the beast temple. Remember to reach, search the treasure chest before defeating the monsters around the altars. 
Collect three simple fragments by opening all the treasure chests on the altars. The simple fragments are used to open the temple gate. Blah blah blah. Treasure chests. Fine. Jesus. Ugh. Simple fragment. Acquire the first simple fragment. Head for the next altar east to check the map for directions. You know what? The map. Screw the map. Screw it hard. All right. We found another altar. No, we didn't. Let's see what we talk. Oh. I'll teach you about using skills to attack. Oh boy! Yeah, telling us how to do a surprise attack again. Let's see if I can do this successfully this time. There we go. Got him. The regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Yeah. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Really? Press. <laughs> oh, God. Skills are powerful attacks that acquire SP. Skill points to perform. Press the triangle button to open the main menu and select skill to open the skill list. The skill trigger is a single button shortcut performing performing skills. Press the R1 button to open the skill trigger menu. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. That's the skill you trigger see menu. The four panels. You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Okay. Now try it out by using the arts. Gale Blade. Well, as you can see, they're all Gale Blades. We're gonna press all the buttons at the same time. Gale That's absolutely nothing. Alright. Perfect. Yay. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It's not just a shortcut, guys. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks. Or it can be used oh, to holy interrupt shit, that's one amazing. of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO-10? Yeah, EO-10. There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. What's that? Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Rengeki! Rengeki is an advanced skill attack with an increased amount of inflicted damage. Perform Rengeki! Use this attack when an enemy is surrounded by a blue and purple ring. Appears when continuously inflicted with damage. Attack the enemy until it is surrounded by blue and purple rings. Tap X repeatedly. Press the R1 button to use the skill trigger now. Okay. <laughs> Favorite action is, tr is triggered when Rengeke is used or other conditions are met. It, is raise, it raises the morale of your party members and will allow you to execute more powerful attacks. Conditions for favorite attacks may vary for each party member. Here you go. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? Please. That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, they're all Whoa, dead. That? Yay, more stuff. So to try to shed the top of the altar. So bossy. I acquired the second symbol fragment. Head for the next altar from farther north. Pay attention to the remaining health. <laughs> I'm fine. Check it out, guys. We got six GP. We're rich. There's fish. Okay, the final altar. Uh, there's there's fish. Why is there why is there fish hanging up? They're very flat fish. Whatever. I guess I guess the goblins like the game. No! Stop stopping me! Damn it! I can't perform a Geki if they're dead. Fuck it. Be asking, Zach, are you gonna cut battles out? No, no, I'm not. We're gonna watch everything in this game. Everything.
Where's the... Where's the... Oh, there it is. Yay! The symbol fragments have been... St have <laughs> the symbol fragments have started to shine. The symbol fragments have become one. Acquired judge's symbol. And the door opens to the beast temple. Yeah! Awesome job! <gasps> All right, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like <coughs> we taught you. No. I like the backgrounds in this game; they're really nice. You always see something weird. That's like a giant steam cannon or something. I don't know. And there's like a thing over there, and there's clouds and that sun, freaking lens flare. Blah. So let's head on to the Beast Temple. Fish! Rock. Fire. And a bridge. I like how everything you walk on has a different sound to it. It's one of those attention to details people in new video games will pay attention to. Of course you're too busy hearing guns and shit. Okay, folks, here's the best, be the best temple, the beast temple. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to call this episode a wrap. I'll catch you guys next time on Let's Play. Dot Hack G U Volume 1. Uh, I think it's in Rebirth. Yeah, Rebirth. Okay, see you guys next time.